welcome, well, well, welcome back, my little wasteland studs and studs and lasses, I guess. Uh, we are about to start the epic gunfight that is fairly epic, anyway. That is um, Ghost Town gunfight. Uh, sticking up for Senor Ringo here, who um, is being hunted by Joe Cobb and all the Powder Gangers. Doesn't that kid look happy? Oh yes, sugar bombs. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We talk to him. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's well, with us. I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. No, I think we're all done. All right, I'm ready. I hope. So we've got to try and keep him alive. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Right. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. We're they gonna use the mean. old um. Uh, b -b -b grenade launcher for this. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'm Have not going to use store? that. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay, right. So, where's it gone? Oh, blind as a bat. There we go. So out we go. Now, as I say, I do really want to keep them alive as much as possible. I've got a few stim packs, so that shouldn't be too bad. Now, they sort of come from over there. Yeah, basically where those plebs are now running. Oh, you saw somebody else running as well. Oh, it's going to get mean. In fact, yeah, they're going to sort of ambush them. So I'm going to try and flank a bit round, as you'll see. And it, this, unfortunately, I haven't got the extended barrel on this, so we haven't quite got the range that we had, or that we often have. Anyway. Oh, that was rubbish ish. Sweet. Come on, I need to right, okay. Not okay, some reasonably successful um shooting there. He's down. Oh ow. Ow, Cobb's still alive, that's could be a problem. Yeah, here we go. Powder gangers. Vilified. They hate me because I stuck up stuck up for them. Cobb's dead, and he's dead. And Good Springs have idolised me. There we go. Excellent. That went quite well. And I've gained karma. And he's still alive. I owe you a huge favour for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. I will do, and I shall get some more caps. Okay, that went, that was reasonably successful. Let's loot the corpses. Uh, yeah, 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 there we go. Fucking abs on him is ridiculous, anyway. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm tempted to put on the old, yeah, I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. There we go. He's probably got... Oh, he's got some bottle caps. I thought he'd have nothing for us. Nice hat. Loads of dynamite. And another shotgun. Sweet. And... Where's Cobb himself? There he is. Cobb. This is the chap. And he had a stealth boy. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and just to make sure he doesn't come back as a zombie. What? His head didn't pop. That's better. You can never be too careful. That's actually worth 59, so we shall take that. Uh, and there was a dude over here. See, I think that my grenades, they did, they killed a couple, but it also injured the rest, so, which was good. Cleaver, really? Throw that. Um, did any of our lot die? There's a jawbone over there. That's, that's Joe Cobb's jawbone. I like it. Um... Well done, everyone. Well done. He just goes straight back to his uh, horticultural business. Let's go in here and flog some stuff to Chet. Okay, that wasn't too bad, was it, at all? When you get the extended barrel for the grenade launcher, it's a lot better as well. Easier to gauge where it's going to end up. Hey there. Ugh. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. It won't. Show me what you have for sale. Oh god, he's got like no ammo. Oh. 
Oh, no caps even. Um, I don't know what to get. We definitely need another trader because he's rubbish. Oh my god. You have nothing. You are absolutely rubbish. Well, I may as well. I don't know. I don't even need a stim packs really. I've got loads of them. Oh well, I may as well get his 54 caps, I guess. Um. Uh, what else has he got? Oh, we've got another varmint rifle. Always good. Um. Don't really want to be carrying that crap around. Was he's heavy? Um, don't need any psycho. Or steady. We don't need a fishing battery either. So, hopefully, I suppose I may as well buy one stim pack, I guess. Or ammo? I don't know. Do I need any ammo? I can't remember. There we go. Sod it. That'll do. Another satisfied customer. Well, I'm not really satisfied because your stock is crap. It hasn't even turned around yet. Ugh, rubbish. Right, out we go, and we shall save in a sec. And then, uh, what do we need to do next? We need to head to Prim at some point. Save. There we go. I'm just trying to think. Because the powder gangers do hate us, and there are I know where there are some, so I tell you what, we're gonna go and murder quickly murder some powder gangers. Oh actually. Oh yeah, just a little thing. If you are doing this, make sure you repair the right one because I've for example put a mod on there, obviously I've got the night vision scope, and if I were to repair the bottom rifle using the top one, I'd lose the scope. So make sure whichever one you push Y on, you are you are using that as your base model if you like, to to add bits to. So like that one, there we go. So I've still got the scope on there, as you can see. Um, yeah, there we go. Actually, I want to use the old. You want to use my nine? Okay, because we've got loads of ammo for it. Now I'm going to get a couple of uh, things on the map. That over there is the Yancey Memorial. So we're going to go over there. Oh, I haven't got my hat on. Desperado. There we go. Look in the part. I have to be careful. I do not want to run into any rad scorpions because I would get knackered immediately. I believe that red tick is probably going to be a coyote. It is. May as well do it just for the um, experience. Nice. No, I only shot it once. There we go. Can I take any meat? Yes. I can use that to eat when I put my survival up a little bit. There's a few coyotes around here, so exercise caution. This is called Devil something or other. Gullet. I believe there's one called the Devil's Throat later on. Oh, he didn't die. Really? Poor Ben, he got a bit close. Whoops. Always oh, seems to fire twice when it goes into slow mo mode. Unless it is just button hang up from me pushing the button and it. Just hadn't actually got round to firing the shot. There's a couple of bits down here worth grabbing. I believe there's something in the bathtub. There we are. Hydra. Um, oh, some ammo in some old knackered tins. Oh, good. Tw 20 gauge. All good. Oh, that looks like it is. Nice. More stars. Microfusion cells, which although I did say earlier we're not really going to use, however, we will be hopefully taking the mod Mad Bomber, and you can make grenades out of um, microfusion cells later. That's not uh, that won't be for away for a long time, so uh, don't worry about that. 
Right. So yeah, we're going to head to that. Uh, yeah. Not going to go too far to the left because there are scorpions and and worse things further over there. I could do with getting into that shack though. I got those points for discovering this, but because I zoomed in with the pistol, it kind of got rid of it. Now, these rocks, as you can see, they actually have some stuff in them. Black Mountain radio signal. Now, the Black Mountain radio, or Black Mountain malarkey, is there. That dish up there is where Black Mountain thing is. As you can see, it's a long way off. But the radio can still reach. Oh, nothing in that one. Nice. Got a bit loads of stuff in it. Plasma rifle already. Crystal mighty. That was certainly worth digging up. There's nothing in that one. Right, okay. Very nice. Uh, yeah. So we'll tart up the nine I'm carrying with the other one. Always good to keep your weapons in decent nick. Uh, I'm going to save here because. There are red scorpions over there. Oh, no. Save a new one. And I could well get murdered going into this hut. They can't come in the hut, but if they see me, uh, they will try and. They will just hang about outside. And it is possible to outrun them, but they're quite quick. I can't actually see any, which is worrying, because I know they're there. Right, we'll creep in quietly into the abandoned shack, because there's a couple of things worth nicking in here. If it loads. Yeah, here we go. Crank me pit boy light on. Reloading bench, which I don't think we can make anything with. No. Dirty water, we don't need that. Is that la yeah, lad's life is always good, which means we can now got the ability to make those um, gecko steaks. Oops, and drugs. Jet. Um, machete, duct tape, and anything in here? Yes, and yes, there we go. Sweet. What's that thing? Dog treat. Well, I never. Oh, and there is also that as well. A nine iron, which you can use as a weapon. But I'm not going. I'm not going to. All right. Back into crouch mode, and we're going to. I'm really worried about that. There's one. There's two. There's a big one over there. Yeah, screw that. We're off. We're going to attack some powder gangers from over here. Now if you notice this sign, because we're coming towards the quarry, the quarry's over there, this sign, warning, death claws ahead. Anyone that's played Fallout, any of the Fallout games, will know how devastating death claws are. Not to be taken lightly. Right. So, there's a road, kind of like a main road thing heading along the bottom here, going across the way, you can sort of see it there. And there should be some powder gangers, which I'm going to try and snipe with our trusty varmint rifle. With our scope on it. There we go. That's our scope. All good. And if we can get the sneak attack critical... Now they are down there. I know they're down there. They're just being very sneaky. Come on! I know you're there. Because I know there's them, but there's more over there. It's most peculiar. Anyway. Of course, this isn't silenced. You can buy a silenced sniper, uh, silencer for this gun. I have yet to do that. So we're going to try and pop these dudes. Now where's the other one? There's definitely two. 
Oh, hang on. One of them's dead. Interesting. There we go. Took three shots. We got there in the end. There are definitely two more over there, and I don't know where. And I, I was fairly convinced that there were two of them here as well. But anyway, I don't know. I don't know who killed the other one. But anyway, this caravan, by the way, this wreckage of a caravan, becomes relevant later on, and you'll find out a bit more backstory about what the hell went on here later. Balls. No. See, she's a caravan guard, and she's been murdered and stripped. Oh God! Wait. Yep. Right. Um. Okay. We'll quickly deal with. No, not that one. We'll quickly deal with these, and then I shall have to begin a new recording. Ow! My God! Oh God! That was chucking dynamite about. Get behind cover! Wow, that was a pretty heroic kind of slow mo dive through the air, wasn't it? Like that. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay, so we shall rob the body. Actually, we'll do this now quickly. We've still got a few seconds left. Took his arm and his head off with a long range sh shot somehow. Okay, we're now over encumbered. And what it is, because we need to cart these up. There we go. And we can move again. Sweet. And we're going to steal this do dude's armour. Because we can use it to repair our own, I believe. There we go. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay, so, there we are, looking like a badass. Um, join me in the next part, and we shall press on to Prim, I imagine, and find out what is waiting for us there. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next part.